Aside from all the stats and allocates um, and wins and trophies that we earned during the season, I would say a couple things that stand out to me this season was our leadership. We had tremendous senior leadership. We probably talked a little more about senior leadership and helped our, our senior leaders understand that leadership is both by example and also verbal leadership. And I felt like they really stepped up uh, in terms of uh, giving leadership to the team as a whole and helping us to develop the culture that we want to have at Mason Cross Country. While this season leaves us with a lot to celebrate, a lot to be happy and joyous about, uh, the season wasn't without some real sadness as well as uh, unprecedented, something I'd never heard of or experienced as three of our, of our team members lost their fathers um, this, this past summer and early fall. Um, Braden's father, Bag's father, and Aiden's father all passed away during the course of our training, summer training, or during the season. And that was something that, that we'd never had to experience before as a team. As a coach, um, that was very difficult for me to watch some of our boys walk through that, and yet it was also very encouraging to see how our team stepped up, I think, to help uh, ease the, the struggles that uh, those three guys went through in losing their fathers. So, Braden Killian's um, father passed away uh, early in the summer, and uh, Braden's just a great guy. He's a great competitor, he's a great team guy, and uh, it was hard to see him go through that, and yet I felt like, uh, especially Braden being a young man of faith, that that was very strong in, in helping him pull through what he was uh, struggling with. Uh, Braden's a great guy, he's a fun guy, and he still uh, has retained that, even though uh, he's had to go through some difficult times. And then uh, Aiden also, uh, Aiden is much more quiet, but you could uh, tell that Aiden really was trying to, uh, to connect with the team and the team with him as he was a new guy on the team and we didn't know him real well and, and yet I felt like our, our team rallied around Aiden as well as Aiden had to go through that and the fact that Aiden struggled to uh, remain healthy and was really not able to have a competitive season with us, yet it was great to have him around and I think it helped him to have us around him as well. And also, uh, Bags, um, as we lovingly call him, um, Bags also had the same struggle that he had to go through. And uh, certainly Bags and I have gotten to be pretty close because he's in my classroom every day, last year and this year as my student aide. And he does great work for me, uh, done a great benefit to the whole team for some of the research and some of the extra things that he does for us. But uh, also to see him uh, and his faith hold strong during a very difficult time and to, to be there with him and, and for him um, was something I'll never forget. Hi, my name is Jacob Bagajohn. I'm a senior at William Mason High School. Uh, I just finished my sixth and final year of cross country. This summer on July 27, 2017, uh, my father, Nolan Bagajohn, uh, he unfortunately passed away with uh, appendix cancer. We kind of knew this was happening. like you don't really want it to happen, but you know it's gonna happen. And like the day before is when I like really realized like, it's gonna happen. I was upset for a little bit, but I was more kind of just pissed. I mean, everything kind of, it just kind of happened so fast, even for what we expected. And I was just like, like what now? Was really just kind of what I thought about. I mean, from an early age, like, he had a bit major influence, a lot with sports. I mean, he was from Indianapolis. So like, I ended up growing, growing up like in the Colts and the Pacers. But as I kind of got older, he like got me in my love of like programming and math, as well as my mom too, but he was more into like the programming, really. And like that, or and, like playing video games and stuff too. My first real sport was basketball. I mean, I wasn't great at it, but he still taught me like the techniques and just, just how to go all out in that sport. And then, I mean, eventually like, or he got into running kind of around when I did uh, in middle school. I mean, I wasn't great at it, but he still like he still knew what he was talking about, and he like gave me tips. And I mean, I, over the course of six years, like he always just kind of he was there for me, just to give me advice and like just ask me questions about why I would do a certain choice during a race or what we did during workouts. He taught me just kind of just push myself about like but knowing my breaking point, like put in my like full effort but make sure that like I'm not gonna end up hurting myself in the end or going way too, doing too much when it's not needed. I mean, I always saw him kind of just being a leader when I was younger. Like, I mean, I, 
Alright, I just kind of wanted to like mimic that, I guess. He still knew how to fun. He knew how to get people going on things and like he got me going on to whatever I needed to do. Like he taught me to like get your stuff done. Like that way you can relax when it's all over. Even through what he was going through, he still got me to like be mo to still motivate myself even when everything felt terrible. I mean, I guess that like that motivation to get to work hard and get stuff done is kind of like what I tried to do like and running and like getting all of like everything I had to get done. So yeah, I mean, I didn't really talk about my dad that much, I guess. Like I just wasn't that open uh, just about everything that was going on. But like just going to practice kind of gave me a sense of relief. Like I knew I had a place where I belong. When you're not like necessarily fast, you get into the cross country for the social aspect. And I mean, that kind of got me to go to practice every day. And then I really enjoyed it. Even even the work, tough workouts and everything where I questioned what I wanted to do. like. Those guys got me through it. So I mean, I felt like I belonged, but I mean, I guess more than ever now because like, even when everything else was crashing, like I always had this stable rock in cross country. I didn't expect that many people to like show up to my dad's visitation or funeral, which I mean, it still surprises me to this day, but I, I mean, I'm happy to like know that my family and myself are like known and supported throughout this like community. I mean, I guess as it went kind of through all of this, like, I mean, it was still my senior year. I still had to finish out my last season of cross country. Uh, like, because I actually ran fast this year for once, I also got the chance to run the varsity A race at Centerville. And running under the lights is something I never thought I would do, especially for a race. Towards the end of cross country, even though this isn't cross country, I got voted homecoming king after, you know, like the cross country kids tried for the third time in a row and they finally won. But you know, it was a good time, honestly. Being a senior, like, it's your last time for everything, so to have that opportunity was great. And just to represent the school, represent cross country. And through high school, I learned that life can just change drastically. And I'm just knowing that people are there for you to support you and help you with whatever you need makes that, like, the process of going through that change a lot easier. I mean, it helped, in, or helped me, and I'm sure it would help others. Um, I'm happy I chose this sport uh, in seventh grade. I have no regrets with it. Uh, thank you for everything. Well, we went into this season ranked 21st in the state of Ohio, which uh, is quite low for what our, our uh, history has been. And yet, if you looked at who we had coming back on paper, I don't think 21st was all that out of, out of order. That was what it kind of looked like. And yet we knew better than that because we knew that on paper doesn't tell you everything. We knew the heart and the uh, toughness and the discipline and the work ethic of some of the young guys coming up and the pollsters didn't know about that and found out very quickly that we were a whole lot better than 21st in the state. To finish uh, with GMC district regional championships and to finish fourth in the state is, uh, just shows the program that we have and the, and the fact that the young guys or the guys who are next in line see that uh, when it's my turn, I'm gonna step up and take advantage of it. The, uh, the future is bright for Mason Boys Cross Country. Uh, I am very excited uh, about the future, although right now I'm still feeling like uh, we need to celebrate this particular season, but great things are in store for us. I firmly believe that a team improves when its fifth man improves. And while we will dearly miss Abel running up front and Michael uh, not far behind him, those two guys are gonna move on to th uh, greater things uh, and we will miss them dearly, but we've got a lot of guys coming back and I can't help but think as long as we stay healthy, we stay hungry, we keep staying humble, we keep working hard, uh, that our fifth man will be better next year than it was this year. And if our fifth man improves, then usually the whole team improves. So uh, the future is bright. There's some great kids coming up from middle school next year and the year after that. So uh, I'll be sticking around for a while because we got some great talent and uh, great runners currently on the team and coming up through the pipeline as well.